Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Today. Stock still dropping, throwing, wide open, caught. That's Thomas who has it across the 50. Thomas inside the 35. And Tavares Thomas hits the first big one for the Blue Raiders. This averages five yards a catch. That one goes for 49. And now back on the ground, big hole for Mobley as we take a look at the Blazer defense. Stock still pressured and sacked behind the 20 yard line. Garcia Williams, six foot eight. Two. With the wind whipping, wind in the face of Cruz Holt. And he boots it through. Yes, it's good. Although you can see the wind just taking that football nearly to the right side of the upright. But though did Spencer Brown, and they have been banged up and slow coming back. But healthy for the championship. And guess who gets it on first down to the 50-yard line? It's Spencer Brown, the sophomore. Per attempt. On third down, pocket holds up. Delivered cleanly to Yubosi, the big play receiver, and Yubosi fights his way inside the 35-yard line. Although Johnston gives it to 28, and the Blue Raiders were thinking right along with the AT. Roisin Collins leads the way, and the Blue Raiders push back on. They've had three blocked field goals this year. This one is easily good. One week after you need to making sure that they could really bring this program back, guys. And John, that report serves as a reminder about the wind as well. As West goes out of the backfield, it's a wheel route and another big one on the backside for West and the Blue Raiders on the wheel. Kicker, so no man's land, fourth and three. Why not trust Brent Stockstill to toss it again on the wheel route? And it is complete. This time, it's Jaquiz Bruce, who's a bit of a secret weapon in this champion. Stock still back in the end zone and misfired somewhere in there. Miscommunication with Patrick Smith. Good hold. Line drive kick is through. And Middle Tennessee takes the lead 6-3. Second possession for the Blazers. Give it to Spencer Brown. Straight up the middle. Brown across the 40-yard line. Across the 45. Wesley Bush finally brings him down. The Blue Raiders. Johnston handles the snap, fires to the sticks, and it's dropped again. Back-to-back -back drops by UAB on the outside. And, right, I don't think. But I think you got to pin that on UAB as well for not getting down. No and, question. And, it was lackadaisical. So down the seam, they go right back to it. Here's West. West across the 45. West goes rolling across the 50. Terrell West is going to take it all the way to the 25 yard line before Wolbry pushes him out 54 yards rather than the kicking unit here's the offense stock still three seconds left in the quarter fake it toss it and on fourth down Thomas picks it up and takes it inside the 10 and into the end zone touchdown blue Raiders middle Tennessee was content to go to the second quarter with a 6-3 lead. Instead, into the end zone, touchdown, Middle Tennessee. On first and goal, Brown again, pushing, he is, and touchdown, Blazers. A drive where UAB flexes its muscle and gets into the end zone. 16 plays, and it ends in a Spencer Brown touchdown run. The 16th TD of his sophomore year. Look at the days at Prattville. Which Clark's team known for being tough. Stock still deep shot, incomplete, and on third and five after taking some blows, the QB misfires on third and five, looking for Patrick Smith. And by that point, you knew you were coming back for a championship game. So. Johnston pulls it again on first down and again sets him up. Gladney makes the stop. 
And off Spencer Brown. Trying to stretch on the edge. Brown crosses the 50, breaking tackles. Rolling inside the 45. DQ Thomas. Half average five yards a carry against Texas A&M. Johnson, deep shot. It is caught. Touchdown. Blazers have the lead. Andre Wilson down the seam. For UAB to get themselves off the field, do they bring pressure? No. Stock still throws. It is picked off. Just the seventh ING thrown by Brent Stockstill this year. Just the second here at home in Murfreesboro. And it's Chris Woolbride who has the pick. Decision by Brent Stockstill. He looked the safety off, then stared at double pumped it and forced that football into double coverage. UAB that time only rushed three and they dropped eight. One of those eight that they dropped was number 27, the middle linebacker. Chris, but most particularly that they're going the wrong way now. Big push, second and 25. They block it up, toss it deep. Why not? Caught inside the 10-yard line. Kalen Carter holds it in. You've earned the right. Strut it out. Do that, a senior has to make better decisions. First and goal. Spencer Brown, it's Johnston who's gonna take it into the end zone. And do a little talking to Reed Blankenship. Expect some pressure here. Zips it on second and 10 complete across the 40, down to near the 30. Marshall has it. 50 seconds, you have three timeouts. Look at they're dominating Middle Tennessee up front. That offensive line has to hold up here. There's a shovel, that's Bruce. Bruce driven back, chased down, back outside the 10 yard line. So now you're gonna have fourth down. So now, presumably, 27-yard field goal attempt, good hold. 27-yarder is good. Zeros on the clock. A little bit better here in the second half. It's my favorite graphic title of the year. Flag, 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 flag. Johnson, deep shot, intercepted at the 48-yard line. Wesley Bush with his sixth interception of the season. Stock still, fourth and two, flings it, knocked away. Complete. Blazers get the stop. D.A. Williams bats it away. And UAB finally stops the Blue Raiders on fourth down. And now they'll bunch. Johnston trying to get a push on the sneak. And this is a big spot coming. It is close. Middle Tennessee certainly thinks they have the stop. Wow. Do you imagine back-to-back -back stops on downs by both of these defenses? To me, it looked like he got it. It depends on when they blew the whistle and that forward motion stopped. They got it. Middle Tennessee gets the stop, and the Blazers stopped on fourth down. So this starts to feel a little late for the Blue Raiders. There's a shovel toss on second and 12, and it opens up with Casey blocking, and it is done. Dobson, touchdown, Middle Tennessee, Zach Dobson. Receivers at the top, Casey's on the bottom, screen, right side, not even close. Mobley makes the catch, and the Blazers rally to the football, led by Chris Mole, and UAB stops the two-point conversion. You give a two-way go to your quarterback out on the edge. That looked funny there, miscommunication. It sure was. Busted play from the start. It's incomplete. Play's dead. That's an incomplete pass. Down here at the bottom of the screen. Two of the third down conversions have been in the third quarter. Stock still delivers against the pressure. It's off of Lee, and it's picked off. Turner comes away with it. A sliding Lee couldn't haul it in, and it's the second pick thrown today by Brent Stockstill. On Stockstill, this is on the receiver. Good protection that time. Finds and puts the ball a little bit low, but it's right on the money. Ty Lee can't come up with it, but Dijon Turner is more than happy to repay the favor. Only showing pressure, do they come or bail? Johnson fake it, looking to toss it. Screen, street, thrown up in the backfield. Reed Blankenship flies in to force fourth down near midfield. The Jerry Palms got them playing because they deserve it. Jack Abraham, 73% passing. Here's a handoff. Dobson's going to break another one across the 
50. He's tripped up. It's a touchdown saving tackle by Marshawn Diggs. Catch and run, and then that 48 yard rush. Had a 45 yard touchdown a week ago. Stock still finds a wide open man downfield on a bust. Patrick Smith has it. First and 15 turns into first and 10 of the red zone. You can run screens, or this can actually be a run from here. Dobson, there it is on the toss. Dobson wrestled down and dropped for a loss. Chris Mull was all over Zach Dobson this time. It has been the difference. Holt kicking into the wind. Not whipping too bad right now. 33-yarder for the lead into the win. Holt easily boots it through. And Middle Tennessee grabs the lead early in the fourth quarter. Shove your way a little bit on second and 10. They're looking to pass it again. Johnston to the air, second and 10. That's complete to the outside. That's Parham who has it for a first down. So face cross there, but nonetheless, great opportunity here for the Blue Raiders. Pressure coming on third down. Johnston on the roll. Johnston sacked. Here comes a flag. It's Trey Phil Potts credited with a sack on Tyler Johnston, the third. Third and two, fake it to Mobley. Stockstill chased. Stockstill sacked. More pressure on Brent Stockstill. Trey Crawford gets this sack to force a punt. Blazers will get the football back. The wave. It didn't. That's a tough call for UAB. Let's see if they can overcome it. So on the outside, here goes Brown inside the 40-yard line with a block on the edge from Carter. Brown takes it inside the 20 before Bush finally makes the stop. Spencer Brown is down. Clark says the move, he's got to end with a championship, though. Brown is going to take it to the 11. Blankenship makes the stop. He appears to be just short, bringing up fourth down. Field goal gives you the lead under four minutes and here comes the kicking unit so eight yards with the wind vogel is good and uab grabs the lead with 323 a good hold by jacob clark situation uab hasn't done that much in this ball game and here they're only going to rush three and play zone again beautiful throw by Stockstill to tie lee in between levels of the defense to move the chains. First down. Right. I like this call. They've been aggressive all day. Keep going for it. On fourth and six, Brent Stockstill to the air, and it is incomplete. More contact downfield. No flags. UAB football with a minute 21, and a two-point lead gets the football back. And Rick Stockstill is irate. Back seem to be inadvertent. Here you are down. At this part of the field, watch these two defenders here. They're going to do a good job of sinking. One's going to run a corner route and come back. There might have been some contact there on the 30-yard line. I think what the staff was so upset about was the slip, but that seemed to be two guys fighting for the football. All heartbreaking in for Middle Tennessee on their home field a week after a 27-3 dominating performance by the Blue Raiders. It's UAB who celebrates a championship unlike any other. A bowl game a year ago in your first year back as a program. And now, as the clock hits zeros in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, 10 wins and a Conference USA championship for UAB. Bill Clark told his team it's an incredible story. Someday they'll make a movie, but the movie has to end with a championship.